So, so far we have discussed the state of our storage account. Now we had also create a container. So let's now focus on containers and objects via Terraform. So if you go on to your data container, here you can upload your objects. So if I click on upload, I'll select a file. So in my apps folder, I just have a very simple text document file. Let me choose this and hit on upload. Here you can go on to the object. If you click on the edit button, you can see the details of the file. So this is within our Terraform storage account. Now let's create the container and upload our object. Why the use of a Terraform configuration file? So firstly, I'll click this container and let me delete the container just to make sure it's not there. So we need to now make changes onto our configuration file. So we can leave all of this as it is. So I said it will not recreate the resources. It will just ensure the configuration is in place. Now we need to use one resource for creating the container and one resource for creating the blob. Let me copy the snippet of code which is required for creating the container and creating the blob. Again, the details of the resource is available in the documentation when it comes on Terraform. So here I just copy the code. So this new resource is of the type Azure RM underscore storage underscore container. This is used for creating the container. This is the name of the resource. I'm giving it as data. This is the name of the container that I want to create. This is the name of the storage account. This is the container access level. So every container. So if you create a container, there is a public access level, private blob and container access. Now earlier on, remember we could not change this. It was grayed out. And that was because of the property that we changed, that configuration. So because we changed this from disable to enable, now it is allowing us to actually specify an access level when it comes on to a container. Going back, so we are just mark it as private for now. And next I'm having a resource to upload a blob. So we are using the blob service when uploading an object. I'm giving a name for the resource. I'm giving a name for the object itself. It will be the same name of the file. The source is sample.txt. So I'm going to copy this file in our temp directory. It will pick up the file from the same directory. Here is the storage account name and here is the container name. The type is just a block blob that we want to upload. So let's make sure I copy my sample file onto my temp directory. So let's go on to our terminal. Okay, let's clear the screen. Create a plan. So now we have two things that we should be adding. One is a container and the other is the blob. And rightfully so, you can see we have two changes that need to be added. So let's apply this. So remember for our storage account, we don't have any containers in place. So I'll do a Terraform apply now. So it's saying both of this is done. Yeah, if I click on refresh, I can see my container. And if I go on to the container, I can see my file in place, my object in place. And if I click on this, if I go on to the edit button, so I can see the details of the file. Now, normally, if you go on to the object, yeah, you get a URL. And if you copy this on to the clipboard, so you get a unique URL for every blob. So here it's saying the resource is not found. And the reason for this is because of the access level of the container. So if you go back onto the container and if you change the access level, 
Yeah, if you change it on the blob and you hit on OK. Yeah, if you refresh this, so it's actually downloading the file now. And then you can see the contents of the file. So if you want to ensure that the container has this particular access level, so let me change it back on to private and hit on OK. So this is at the storage container level. So let me again just close this. So this pertains on to the container access type. So let's see what are the allowed values. I want to go on to the container. So if I go on to Azure RM storage container, I want to see what I can mention as the container access type. So we have blob, container and private. So the right one is blob. So let's change this on to blob. Let's save this. And the same aspect. Let's do or create the plan. And then apply the plan. Right, so one change to be made and let's apply it. So this is also done. So now if I go on to the container, if I go on to sample.txt, or better yet, let me just refresh this so we can still download the file. That means the right container access level has been given. So in this chapter, just want to kind of go through how do you create a container and how do you upload a blob via Terraform.